Hi my lovely queens, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So in today's video we are going to do a tutorial for this look and if you like it then just keep on watching because it's going to come right up. Okay girls, we are all zoomed in, all the foundation is done, the contouring is done, the everything is done, my eyes are primed and we're ready to go. So what we're going to do now is I actually want to challenge myself. I want to use grey not only gray but also gray and that I've never done before. So I'm going to use in today's look, I'm going to use the Tropical Wonders palette, <laughs> not blocking my light, the Tropical Wonders palette from uh, Certified and this is how it looks and here is a gray, a gray matte and that's what I want to use and I want to use the white and I want to use, let me think, the hibiscus and the honey creeper. And that's for the upper part of my eye. I don't know yet what I'm going to do on my lash line, uh, on my lower lash line. So we shall see about that. But we're going to start with the honey creeper and the hibiscus in the crease. And then on my eyelid, I want to do a gradient between waterfall, which is the white, and the uh, typhoon, which is the gray, and starling, which is a deep purple. So that's the plan. So let's let's just r jump into it and see what happens. First I'm taking the shade Honey Creeper and I'm packing it into my crease. And once I've have packed enough uh, pigment on on my eyelids of that Honey Creeper, I go in with the hibiscus, which is the pink. And I'm going to put that at the inner part of my crease and I will also use that shade to blend out the honey creeper like right here. See I'm not sweeping, I'm just really dabbing it on like tuck 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 like this. Now that the inner part of my crease looks somewhat presentable, I'm going to use that same shade, the hibiscus, the pink, and I'm just going to start blending out the darker, whatever it's called, honey creeper. Now I switched to a brush that is bigger and fluffier like this, and it doesn't have any um, eyeshadow on it and I'm just like that blending out the pink shade. Okay, I like the, the gradient of the pink already. I'm just going over it and over it and over it so it gets like a really nice blown out look. Also like here totally in the middle, like this. <laughs> And don't worry if you see this here, you see that there is not a nice gradient between the honey creeper and the pink, which is called hibiscus. Uh, but we'll fix that. Don't worry about that yet. <laughs> There's time for worrying later. <laughs> so once I have reached the level of blending that I wanted to have and that I'm happy with, I'm taking the same fluffy brush here that I just used for blending out the hibiscus. And I'm going to go again into the honey creeper here, but just a tiny little bit. And if you dip in too much, then just, you know, tap it off. And then just press that pigment on. But don't go too far up so you don't ruin the gradient right here that you'd achieved with the blending. And I'm doing that so many times till I have reached the level of whatever I wanted to achieve, whatever I like. It's funny, what you're actually not seeing when you're watching this is how much I'm running back and forth while I'm filming this tutorial. I am also editing a new makeup releases video <laughs> and I'm running back and forth and I'm trying to edit and export it from my, um, from my editing software because it has to be released tonight. <laughs> so. This is a, is a situation, <laughs> but 
but you know what I just really want to learn how to film tutorials I have not done that a lot because it's really hard to film and it's really hard to edit and I'm just trying to find the right way for me to do this also with the settings and um, trying to not bend my head down like so I'm leaving the screen <laughs> So uh, that has happened before. I'm like I'm not making this up. So, so I'm just practicing here, and uh, you get to practice with me. <laughs> now that I'm somewhat happy with the gradient of the overall picture, I'm taking a somewhat stiffer brush that is like it's flat and it's somewhat stiff, and I am actually wanting to pack on more pigment because I want the colors to stand out more. So I'm going to go back into the hibiscus. And now I'm just dabbing it on really in the crease, not going upwards because I don't want to ruin the blend, but I'm just packing it here in the crease. I just decided that I want to add a little bit more of the hibiscus shade up here because I want to take the whole look a little bit further up. So I'm just packing on a little bit more and just gently dragging it like this and because I've just done that that I added more of the pink shade I have to now go back in with the honey creeper and just repeat what I did before that I'm just packing this on to have the gradient back and I know it seems to be like a lot of back and forth back and forth but that's how it is that's it takes time it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of being patient <laughs> but in the end it's gonna be nice so that's what it takes so normally I would now just go ahead and start applying the shimmers on my lid if I'm not doing a cut crease I I don't need to put any anything else down before that and I just would blend everything together but today because I'm using mattes I'm actually taking a makeup wipe and because I don't have a lot of space there, I don't want to remove more of the eyeshadow that I need to. I'm taking a, is it called a Q-tip? Like a cotton thingy. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comment section how this is called in English. And I'm, wipe, uh, I'm um, wrapping a makeup wipe around it like this. And now I'm just taking away some of the eyeshadow here on the lid without going too far up because like I said it's not supposed to be a cut crease today and I'm just taking away the inner section because in the outer section I'm uh, planning to put down a dark purple anyway so this is all gonna blend together but in the inner section where I have the white and the gray I need it to be somewhat clean so it doesn't need to be perfect makeup is like it's it's makeup it doesn't need to be perfect at least not for me having my private makeup on like today something like that <laughs> and now I'm actually going to take my MAC base that I'm always using which is the uh, soft ochre paint pot and I'm putting that back down because I totally want that as my primer and I'm reapplying it here over that the rest of the pink It's sort of like a cut crease, but it's not. Like, I'm not being super, super precise. You know, I'm just, because in the end, I, I want it to be a blended look. So I'm taking, again, a very, very stiff brush because that gives me the control that I need. And I'm going to go into the waterfall shade. And I'm just going to press it on right here into the inner corner just right here that's that's all I want I don't want to take it further than that and then in a little bit we'll blend it into the gray which is sort of exciting really because I've never never used gray in any eyeshadow look in my whole life okay so this white doesn't show up as much as that as much as I thought it would I would have loved it to be like really really vibrant it's not but we're gonna go with the flow because overall I think I'll still have the result that I want. Just gonna try to build up the gradient, uh, the, the pigmentation a little bit more. 
Sorry for my voice. I have been battling this cold for a long time now and it just it doesn't go away. But um, by the time you see this, I am sure I'm going to be fine. Now comes the very exciting part for me because I have no idea how this will perform, the, the Typhoon shade. So let's see. This is... wow. I never thought that would happen, but apparently it does. That is actually not bad. I do though want to put in um, on that gray and the white afterwards some glitter because I need to have some sparkles or some shimmer or some... I have the hardest time to have an all matte uh, eyeshadow look. If it's... that's not true actually. If it is a like a natural eyeshadow look, like natural colors, nude colors, then that's different. But I almost never do that anyway, so I would only do that for tutorial purposes, uh, but not for my private life. That's just not that's just not me. Now I'm pushing the gray a little bit like this into the crease, so we do get a gradient of some sort between the pink and the honey creeper and the gray. Because as I said, I want it to be a very blended look and not have any harsh lines. Okay, next I'm gonna go back into the white. I just wish it would be more vibrant, this white. Such a shame. I'm gonna try to pack it on a little bit and then also dab it over the gray a little bit in order to have a gradient. But honestly, the, the difference between the white and the gray is not that great. I think it would have been if the white would have been more vibrant, but it's not. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> maybe if I would have a different base, maybe that would be different, but uh, that's what I have, that's what I always work with, with all of my eyeshadows, so, so that's what I have. Okay, but it is buildable, I have to say that. It is buildable, it just takes some time, and if you don't have the time to do that, then, then, then I don't know, <laughs> then you don't. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this dark purple, this is the shade Starling, and carefully, <laughs> I'm dabbing. <clears throat> there you go. That's that's the cold. <coughs> Sorry. Just lost my voice. Just right there in the middle of the sentence. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So I'm dabbing this on, and there you go. This is pigmentation. That's what I like. Okay. So this is the shade that will bring the depth in the whole look. This is what it's going to bring the whole thing together. So here, on the borderline between the gray and the purple, I'm just going to drag the, the purple a little bit over the gray to have the gradient, as well as here on the border to the pink, the honey creeper, and I'm also dabbing it a little bit into the crease like this. And then in the middle of it all, I'm just packing on more pigment. I'm loving this. Okay, now I'm going to take the, the big fluffy brush that I also used to uh, blend out the, the pink and to dab on the, the what's it called, honey creeper, I always forget, the, the honey creeper shade in order to make the gradient towards the pink. So I'm taking that same brush and I'm just dabbing slightly because this shade, the starling, the purple is very pigmented. So I'm just going to dab this off. and slightly pack that on here to create the gradient. I'm liking this. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay, I think that I want to have a bit more of a gradient here with the gray and I'm gonna go back in with that little stiff brush <clears throat> and packing it on here a little bit more. I wish actually the gray would show up more. Sorry. <coughs> wow, okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm really, I am. <laughs> so I wish the gray and the white would be a little bit more impactful, but I think because we have this very vibrant purple, um, that's it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna pack on a little bit more gray here as well. Uh, 
And then to finish off the upper eye, I want to go in again with my big favorite fluffy brush and use again the Honey Creeper shape, sh shape, <laughs> shade and dab that again over that edge with the purple. I know doing makeup like this is very very repetitive but that's just that's the nature of it that's you know if there's someone who tells you you can do this in 10 minutes uh, he's lying or she it's not gonna happen okay I just changed my mind <laughs> I had planned to maybe just finish off the look with those purples and pinks all together on the lower lash line but I think now I want to actually go in with fruit dove and Bermuda and make a gradient like this towards the out, like the outer V. I think that's what I'm going to do. And let's see. So I'm going to take a pencil brush, and I'm going to dip into the fruit dove. I think I'm going to pack this on quite a bit because I want this to show up. And I, I really don't know. This is a shade that I have not used also. And I'm going to pack this on here for about like half of the length of my um, lash line and now I'm going to take the shade Bermuda and do the same thing for the outer parts of my lash line and I'm I have to see if it has enough of a difference because if not then I'm going to back it up maybe even with this one with uh, Swamp with the dark green what are we thinking is that enough of a gradient? Is it enough of a difference? I think it is. I think I can live with this. Now that I've placed down both of the shades the way I want them, I'm just going to start blending them out with a short but somewhat fluffy brush. <laughs> I don't know, they don't have any names and they don't have any, any uh, numbers so I can't really tell you it's, it's just, I have to describe them like that to you. So first of all, I always blend like this, and then I also blend like this, that I'm dragging it down a little bit like that. While blending, we of course lose some of the pigmentation, so I'm just going to dab on more of the product like that in order to have like a real boom. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to leave it with and I will, let's see, what am I doing? I, I am, first of all, I'm brushing off the fallout, which there was quite a bit, especially from the dark purple. I'm actually going to apply a purple into my waterline. This one is from Pupa. I love their their eye pencils. They're really, really, I don't have anything else really from Pupa, but their eye pencils are really, really nice. This is number 31. And now that I've done that, I know it looks a little bit off now because there is this uh, emphasis on the lower lash line now because I put the, that dark, um, the dark eyeliner there. Uh, but as soon as I'm going to put the eyeliner and the, the mascara and everything, trust me, it's going to look nice. So I'm going to do that right now off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you the finished look. Okay, my lovelies, <clears throat> voice still struggling, but we're almost done. My lash glue is drying, so I'm going to apply some glitter now, and I chose, well, it was supposed to be like a grayish silver kind of a glitter. I didn't have that. So it's going to be a little bit more colorful, sparkly-ish kind of a thing, and I'm going to apply that just here, <clears throat> if you see that in the inner corner where the white was. And I'm just going to drag that a little bit, like tap and drag. Of course, I'm applying it with glitter glue, so we don't have any fallout happening. This is sparkling. I love that. And now, now I'm totally at home. Okay, my loves, this is how it looks. Let me just zoom you out this way. I just have to remember at some point which way to zoom. Okay, so this is how it looks. I hope you like it. I totally love it. I did use a glitter from actually from a local brand which is called Beauty Care. I don't have a lot from Beauty Care but I have their glitters because why not? 
And on my lips, I'm wearing a Grim Brulee from, uh, from Essence. I used a highlighter from Maybelline, which is the Molten Rose Gold Metallic Highlighter. And what else? I used Ardell Lashes and... And that's it. <laughs> so, I really love this look. I... When I'm gonna go out today, if you see me, this is me. Okay, so make sure to come over and say hi okay so I hope you like this little video and as I said I'm just trying stuff out you know I'm learning to do all this and I hope it's gonna come together nicely so <laughs> yeah I'll see that while I'm editing okay so if you're new here please feel free to subscribe to my channel everybody if you like the video give me a like and I'll see all of you back in right here for my next video very very soon go ahead and sparkle and don't forget your crowns okay have them on straight and i'll see you right here next time for my next video hugs and kisses bye